Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Thursday, August 22nd. I like this one. Heaven is my home. I'm just here recruiting. Amen. And it goes right along with my Bible reading today. We're in 1 Corinthians chapter 4. I hope you're reading through the New Testament with us. We do this every year. I encourage to read through your whole Bible every year. But in this format, I thought the New Testament would be perfect. Amen. Verse 2, moreover, it is required in a steward that one be found faithful. So simple. That's all I want to hear. Well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. As I get older, I'm going to be 66 in a couple months. All I want to do is keep running the race. I pray for good health that I can keep serving God. I'm not looking to retire. I'm looking to refire, amen? And I'm just believing for good health to that day when that trumpet sounds, hallelujah. It was an old song we used to hear. I'm not looking for the hole in the ground. I'm looking for the hole in the sky, amen, amen. All right, let's get into this. I don't think you wanna hear me singing today. So today we're praying for Tennessee, 52% evangelical Christians, Mississippi, 41%. Today we're praying for a creative access nation of South Asia. It's in the number 15 area. Several young people are taking part in outreaches with the team in southern parts of the country. The high temperature and rainfall are unpredictable in this region. Please pray for good weather, health, protection for all the participants. Believers need to be strong as people here practice witchcraft. We don't have a clue, do we? I don't believe in demons. Yeah, we don't see as many. Well, we're starting to see a lot more in the United States than we ever have because of the sexual perversion that opens up the doors, the return of the gods, as Jonathan Kahn's book says. But in other countries where they're open to this perversion. Amen. All right. I got everything ready. Let's go ahead and pray today. Precious Father, woohoo! this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be very, very, very glad in it. Father, as we have been faithful to this, it is required in a steward to be faithful. Every day we've been meeting together going on five years now. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity to meet together on this platform, Lord. To you be the praise, the glory, and the honor. What the devil would want to take for evil, the internet, Facebook, YouTube, all these things, ourselves and many other Christians are loading it up with good things. And I believe it'll stay until that trumpet sounds and then they'll start taking all this digital stuff down. But till then, Lord, we're gonna praise you in the satellites, praise you on the internet, praise you on television, praise you on every format that we have in Jesus' name. I thank you for organizations that are doing things like this, other things, Lord. I thank you for North American Mission Board, Northland Church, Northern Canada Evangelical Missions, Officers Christian Fellowship, OMF International, One Challenge, One Mission Society. I lift up Hoving Home that we invest quite a bit into. I lift up Rick Renner right there in Moscow, still there, Lord. Give him favor that they don't chase him out, Lord. I lift up today's choice. I pray for these organizations that are close by and also ones over on the other side of the world, Lord. And I thank you. Thank you for them all being faithful until the return of the Lord. I lift up before you our world, Lord, as we, see, ooh, excuse me, as we see a world gone crazy. Many think it's just the United States. It's the whole world world. So we pray. We pray for our world. We pray. We pray for the people of our world in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, the Pacific, and even the Antarctic. We pray 
for the people of our world. God, I thank you. It's not you that hinders one person, not even one from being saved. Your word says so clear, God desires all men to be saved, all men to come to repentance, all people. So we see that's a free choice. It's not you choosing one yes, one no. You know the end from the beginning. You know who will make that decision, but you've given everyone that free choice. So I can't pray to you, oh God, get that person saved. No, we pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Lord of the harvest, send forth laborers into the harvest field. We pray as Paul prayed, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, in whom the God of this world has blinded their eyes that the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus Christ cannot get in. So we pray for those scales to come off their eyes. We take our spiritual authority right now over families and friends, demonic powers, principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. We rip off those blinders that when the gospel is presented, they'll hear it. We pray for missionaries. We pray for apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. We pray for ourselves. Each one reach one. Each of us doing our part to further the gospel, be it by witnessing, be it by giving into mission works, be it by praying, Lord, that we use our time, our talent, our treasure for your honor and glory. And I thank you. Thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. Woo! Feel the anointing on that one. Hallelujah. We pray for our United States of America. We pray for Tennessee and Mississippi today. States that have a lot of born-again Christians, but yet still many that are not. And we pray today for the scales to come off of people's eyes, hearts to be open to the glorious light of the gospel. For Father, even America has become a mission ground now. We pray for our nation. We lift up America. We again pray for those that are in authority in our executive, legislative, judicial, state-run government. Lord, we bind up evil people. We slow them down in Jesus' name. We pray for the godly that you would strengthen them, help them, and use them in Jesus' name. We lift up this upcoming election. We pray that the truth would come out, that there'll be no shenanigans, no uh, ballot harvesting or any other way. We pray that these digital machines would work accurately. If we're still here, we want to see a fair election, Lord, and who wins, wins, but a fair election. We thank you for that. But Lord, if we're gone, all hell is going to break loose on planet Earth. I believe the tribulation will be starting awfully quick. God help people that are left behind. In fact, let's do that right now. We pray for our loved ones that will be left behind, that maybe they'll come in my our house, they'll see my books right there about the rapture and where is everybody gone. So I thank you, thank you for that, Father, in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, I thank you, declined. I thank you, Lord, for that in Jesus' name. Now, Father, as we continue to pray, I lift up Eswanta, Lestaro, South Africa, Turkey, Cyprus, Lebanon, and then Israel is on our list. We pray for the nation of Israel as we see these eight bodies that were alive, taken by Hamas, and now have been murdered. These are murderers to do that. What happened to prisoners of war? What happened to taking care of them until a, a treaty or a, something is done? No, they murdered them, murdered innocent elderly people, 180 years old. God, give Israel the fortitude to, to eliminate Hamas, Hezbollah, to eliminate Iran's nuclear program, on and on. They're waiting for the iman or whatever they call him. And all they do is they know he'll come when the world is in shambles. Getting close. We pray. I pray for the Iranian people. Many of them are protesting and then they're being hung. Takes guts to protest over there. Lord, we pray for Israel. We pray for them today. We lift up. South Asia and this work that they want to do here, Lord, 
And I pray for these young people as they go into these places. And we pray for good weather, health, protection in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you for that, Lord. We lift all this up before you. Now we pray for the prayer cards that have come in. And we pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. I pray, Father, that anxiety be broken. Peace would come in lives. And I thank you. Thank you for that. God, help people. I pray, we lift up these prayer cards. I lift up these precious ones that are with me right now. And I pray for them in Jesus' name. I lift up our, Cindy, our sister, Wendy, as they found cancer in her breast. Our sister, Cindy, with cancer. Our brother, Howard. Others, Lord, that are battling stuff. Ugh, I hate it. I hate sickness. I don't believe sickness is of you. You don't choose one that have cancer and one not to. We live in a cursed world, but healing is available. <clears throat> You're a God of miracles. So I pray for any that are suffering right now for healings. Be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, you go. Eye problems, you go. Tuberculosis, you go. Kidney failure, you go. I pray for fellow brothers and sisters right now in Jesus' name. We pray one for another, Lord. One for another. Thank you for that, Lord. We love you, sir. We love you. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. You are a healer, a provider. You are our shepherd. And we love you so much. Father, again, I pray for these that are with me, blessings upon them on this day. Now, Lord, we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. I know we can't come together and just goombaya. There's some pretty nasty things going on in our world. So we pray. Oh, Lord, we pray. We love you and we honor you today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is good. Amen. Again, vote for the platform. It's so simple to see. There's darkness there and there's light there. Come on, Christians. Let's do what's right. Don't look at personalities. Look at that platform. Amen? God bless. Have a great day.